now here's something that Aristotle said that was in his text that heavy objects fall faster than lighter objects go ahead and write this down right heavy objects fall faster than lighter objects and that's you know like if you get a feather and a hammer which one's going to fall faster well clearly the feather falls more slowly or if you get a like a ping pong ball and a piece of tissue paper which one's heavier well the i said ping pong ball ah, i gotta stop doing that golf ball and a piece of tissue paper golf ball falls faster but you know here's the thing what that's not accounting for is air resistance if you get two pieces of paper you know, they fall at the same speed right it's gonna fall a lot slower than the golf ball will right okay but watch you know hang on what's being left out of this whole situation if you have two pieces of paper and you crumple it up what happens yeah the one that's crumpled falls faster well it doesn't weigh more does it anyway i'm just trying to show you uh, the whole idea of heavy things falling uh faster than lighter things it makes sense but it's not really the way it works okay and it's just like we have the heavier mass on a pendulum swings at the same rate that a lighter mass does aristotle realized that things that are heavy and light if you did, don't count air resistance fall at the same speed okay and so galileo said that heavy and light objects fall at the same speed oh wait what's going on why did this move off of the uh oh okay so anyway uh heavy and light op objects will heavy and light objects will fall at the same speed this is something galileo discovered and go ahead and please write this down if you got to pause go ahead and pause but this isn't necessarily a very obvious thing, right? Things fall so fast, you can't really see how fast they're falling. But Galileo um, basically proved that it was true. And the question is like, well, who was right? Was Galileo right? Or was uh, Aristotle right? Well, here's something that is kind of intriguing. Um, Galileo taught that heavy things and lighter things fall at the same speed. Now, the idea there's a story that he went to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. He might not have probably done it off the Leaning Tower, but he definitely dropped him from greater heights. And the heavy thing and the light thing fall at the same speed. Boom. Okay, well, let's try a little experiment, shall we? Do heavy and light objects fall at the same speed? Hmm. Let's try to see if it does okay so i have a heavier one and a lighter one this one weighs four times as much as this let's see which hits the ground first let's see which goes faster than the other one two three go they hit it exactly the same time okay now one thing about observations on this is a little tricky because it's not that easy to let them go at exactly the same instant it's possible i could let go this one a little further or a little a little bit first and it'll just go ahead but it'll stay at the same rate that's what you want to look for so here we go we're going to try it again one two three go okay which one hit first or was it the same time All right, when it was in slow motion, could you see? They fell at the same speed, right? Now, this is, again, everybody in Europe at the time, pretty much, you know, that was educated, they like knew that Aristotle taught that heavy objects fall faster than lighter objects. Uh, and Galileo showed it wasn't true. Now, what ended up happening is you'd have these people, they didn't have television back then. They didn't have telephones, newspapers. Um, if they had newspapers, they were like little local, you know, stuff had written. Um, but there would be people that would kind of go traveling from kingdom to kingdom, you know, travel from 
uh, Italy to Spain or Spain to France or France to England and stuff like that. And, you know, and they would come with them and they would visit the courts. Maybe they were like, I don't know, the second son of some prince. Ah, I don't know. But they'd go there and I picture them being in their big floppy hat with a feather and a sword at their side. Oh, I understand that there's this gentleman named Galileo who is teaching that heavy things fall at the same speed as light things. And then the, the educated guy in the car would go, But that's preposterous. Everyone knows that the heavy things fall faster than lighter things. It's written right in Aristotle. Oh, no, I understand that they fall at the same speed. No, that's absolutely ridiculous. And it's like, oh, would you care to make a little wager? Maybe a few gold? You know, of course I'll make the wager. This is the most ridiculous thing. And so everybody suddenly be paying attention going, hey, why is there's a bet going on, you know? And then I'll kind of go traipse it up to the top of the castle and the castle walls and he'd have a cannonball and a piece of grape shot, right? A smaller weight. And they drop him. And they'd fall exactly the same speed, make this thing splash down at exactly the same minute, and people would be go, Whoa, he won the bet, you know. And so, this became kind of a thing where Galileo's discovery, uh, you know, it became entertainment, and because of that, he became like a rock star, he became famous across the, the European world, okay. Now, this isn't the end of the story for Galileo. And it, it actually helped, you know, launch the scientific method as an established way of, wow, we can learn new things here. We can progress our knowledge beyond what Aristotle said over a thousand years ago, right? And so, or at least back from then. Now, there's another thing about this that's kind of interesting. What would happen if you dropped a hammer and a feather at the same time? Hammer goes faster, right? But what if he did it on the moon? On the moon, there is no air. What would happen if you dropped them? Would they fall at the same speed or would the hammer fall faster? So, uh, now let me see. Hang on. There's, doo -doo -doo. So the feather and the uh, hammer. Now, this is kind of an interesting thing. The, basically, the idea is air resistance is what slows the feather down. But, you know, they actually did this experiment. Take a look at this. When they did the Apollo program and sent people to the moon, they, they decided to go ahead and try this experiment. Watch what happens. Well, in my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons... Uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Uh, Mark, this that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. Okay, and there you have it. Heavy and light objects fall at the same speed if you don't account for air resistance. Galileo has established in Europe this new thinking, this new way to learn called the scientific method. That is a landmark in the history of Western civilization, a landmark in the history of science. Okay.